Titanfall 2 had huge aspirations to take over the FPS multiplayer scene, but it didn't quite reach that level of mainstream long-term penetration. Does Titanfall 2 have what it takes to capture the hearts of the online audience? I'm Ghost Robo, and let's find out. Titanfall 2 enters the arena during a very big and busy shooter season. We had a Destiny expansion, Gears of War 4, the recently released Battlefield 1, the upcoming Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, but after 12 plus hours of Titanfall 2 multiplayer, I think this may be the best of the bunch. I played every mode, every map, I tried out every Titan, every pilot loadout, so I have a great grasp of the online. 12 plus hours of action. Big thanks to EA and Respawn for making that possible. So I know this game well. And I can safely say that this is one of the most fluid and fun online shooters I have ever played. There is something special about the organic flow of the controls, about the organic flow of the back and forth between Pilot and Titan, about the organic flow of the way these battles take shape and pan out that I love. I am not a big multiplayer guy. If you know me, you know I'm really into single player. I'll dabble in online, but I won't stay. 12 plus hours, and I want more. And that all starts with the Titans. They have drastically amplified the variety and the awesomeness of the Titans this time around, and I think that sets the foundation for why Titanfall 2 is so darn cool. Let me focus on three that I think really set the bar. First, you've got Ronin, who is a melee Titan that runs in, dashes, and deals damage by dicing and slicing with his swords. Very unlike the bulky, heavy Titans of Titanfall 1, or even the slender, more smooth, speedy Titan that we saw in the previous game. Then there is Northstar, my personal favorite, who can fly above the battlefield, who has a sniper rifle. He may be vulnerable, but once he unleashes that rocket barrage, you will know that this dude means business. Then, last but not least, there's Legion, who is one of those hulking titans, but he has a predator cannon gun that can switch between short and long range rounds. Short range rounds push back and deal damage. Long range rounds are much more accurate, but consume two ammo per shot. It's all very smartly laid out. It's all very balanced, and that's only half of the titans in this game. It feels like there is just a much better level of interplay between the human pilots and the mechanized titans. Something that they did, whether it's the variety or just the fluidity, uh, is really, really special here. And I loved playing through Bounty Hunt, Attrition, Skirmish, Amped Hardpoint, and really seeing how I could majorly manage the battlefield by getting some kills as a pilot, calling down my titan, rolling through the area with said titan, hopping out, and then going back to work with the pilot. I love the pilot tacticals. They've got these abilities now. Uh, grappling hook, you've seen, I'm sure. Pulse blade uh, illuminates uh, a sensor of where the enemy is. My personal favorite, though, is cloak. You go invisible for a little bit of time. Increased effectiveness versus titans, although pilots can spot you quite easily. But phase shift may be the coolest looking, where you're able to teleport into an alternate space for a short period of time. So it's basically like a disappearing act. And none of these, though, are too strong. They all have such a short cycle they all have a specific use and yet they're all able to be spotted and sniffed out by a smart pilot and i think that's where they really uh really show their chops they expanded this game greatly way more customization you can now put decals on your titans custom colorways a whole lot more weapons a whole lot more boosts and kits we'll get into those in a second and yet it all still works very well I played Titanfall 2 multiplayer at the low levels and at the highest level, and at both, it was incredibly fun. Neither was better than the other, although I will say it's really awesome once you start seeing a plethora, a cornucopia of Titans in each match. When you've got some Legions, you've got some North Stars, you've got some Ronins, you've got some Scorches out there, it just feels like a much larger war than in the early stages when it's all the same Titans. But they still give you a choice at the beginning but you want to spend your points, and as you level up, invest in those Titans, because once you get the more specialized guys, ooh, it is good. And then you can use them in Last Titan Standing, which is the Titan-only mode that I still think strikes a very unique feel compared to anything else out there this year. 
They also included a Coliseum, a one-on-one -on -one mode, uh, for you to duke it out if you have a grudge against a friend or a foe, and then you can see who is the most skilled pilot. Pilot vs. Pilot also returns, uh, being one of my favorites yet again, because then it's all about the skill. Something that Titanfall 1 really was hampered by was this feeling that you could do good no matter what. You could kill the NPCs, you could kill Titans, and you'd have a really good score, and sometimes you wouldn't even feel like you played well, and you'd still end up on top of the leaderboard. And that was satisfying in the beginning, but it really, really irked me as my hours ticked on. Here, though, it seems like it's a lot more skill-based, and that shows up in something like Bounty Hunt, where you're going to capture money and have to sort of roll the dice on risk versus reward. Are you going to keep going for kills, build up a bigger coin cash, and then take it to deposit, or try to deposit as quickly as possible, but burn valuable time and not have the opportunity to snipe returning pilots? And it also shows up in Amped Hardpoint, a very objective-focused mode where you can double up on specific hardpoints to increase their scoring potential. Now, the only mode I don't like is Capture the Flag. I don't feel like it works very well, uh, given the Titanfall 2 feel and style, but that's just me, and there are nine modes, so you've got eight others, even if you don't like CTF. But I really think that they have hit the right balance here. The boosts are also great. They eliminated burn cards, which was kind of a cool idea, but really maybe didn't work so well, given the, the way that Titanfall 1 played. Boosts, though, are more like kill streaks that you achieve as you score points and do good things. So my personal favorites are the Smart Pistol, which replaces your secondary and gives you a clip of ammo with an auto-targeting pistol. Well, almost auto-targeting. Semi-auto-targeting pistol that usually is a one-shot kill. It is freaking awesome, and you feel so powerful using it. I also like the Hollow Pilot because you send out three hollow pilots in different directions, three clones, and completely confuse the opponent when you're in a difficult spot. But again, they've got so much more here as you level up and as you unlock these boosts, as you unlock the tacticals, as you unlock the weapons and the customization for both your titans and your pilots, that it has a lot more hooks to keep you invested beyond the first few hours. The maps are well made. I don't know that there's any that are incredibly memorable or will go down as one of the best maps ever or anything like that, but they have some that are vastly different from others, and that's crucial. You want to have different levels that feel uh, very unique and have their own sort of feel and maybe even their own sort of preference uh, for specific mode types. But I really like all the modes, uh, minus that CTF. Uh, you know, Skirmish is just kind of your big battle with Titans and pilots. They do bring back attrition, which is the mode where you do have the NPCs, but it doesn't feel like it's as in your face and as overwhelming as it may have been last time. And by overwhelming, I mean not from a difficulty standpoint, but from a standpoint that going for those NPCs was all you were doing and it didn't feel that great. Now, a lot of people love the grappling hook. It's a way to get around quickly to really hook into Titans, and that's something as well. I feel like Titans, I feel like there's on one hand, more of them, but at the same time, they seem more vulnerable. And I think that's a totally good thing. You're acquiring Titans and losing Titans at what seems to me a more rapid rate, and that just makes the matches much more fun. They definitely tweak things after the beta, the technical test. Uh, they took feedback from the community, and it seems like they've implemented quite a lot because I played this pre-beta, I played this beta, and now I've played final retail code, and it feels very refined and just cooked to excellence now. And I love it. Again, I'm not a big multiplayer guy. I will play Call of Duty every year. I've been playing Battlefield 1. But what sets this a notch above is that fluidity, is that flow. When you have the controller in your hands, there's a certain magic about the fast-paced controlled chaos that Titanfall 2 establishes. Whether you're running on walls, sliding into cover, dashing away from charging opponents, it just all feels so right. And trust me, once you find your favorite Titan, once you pick your favorite pilot loadout, once you're wrecking fools on the battlefield, you will know exactly what I mean, and you will have so much fun with these controls that to me are tuned more to perfection than possibly any other console shooter. Titanfall 2 is also now on PC, also now on PS4, so hopefully a whole lot more people will give it a chance because you are in for a real treat. I cannot wait to play this with you guys. We'll have our own network, the Ghost Robo Army, and we'll go to work 
with our Titans. Watch out for my North Star. Watch out for my cloak because I'm coming for you, baby. And this game is coming hot and hard into a heated holiday season. But I think, I think it can burn the rest of the bunch. That's Titanfall 2. I'll have a single player review soon as well as a walkthrough gameplay of both multiplayer and single player. I hope you guys are pumped for this one. It has been coming in a little under the radar, but don't sleep on it. I'm telling you, Titanfall 2 is a gem. So that's going to do it for the video, guys and girls. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on Titanfall 2 in the comments below. And until we prepare for Titanfall, we will see you all later.